What's going on, people? It's CK, and we're here again, seeking reactions. And we are back for another episode of Bungo Stray Dogs. We're on episode four, and things have finally ended with Fukuzawa's and Rampo's flashback. I, I believe this has to be very tied, very well tied to the to the new arc, which sounds obvious, but I think it's a lot more closely. There's a lot more close parallels and correlations than there were in the previous seasons when they done this. Uh, the reason the agency exists, but. Why do we need to know this now? <laughs> it's clearly for for a very good reason, so Huh. Now that we're back in the present, can't wait to see where this goes and potentially see some more Rampo and Fukuzawa action, basically. What the A whole teddy bear costume mascot guy. What? Did I miss something? Why is he in prison? Oh shit! Damn, I forgot about that. That was the that was one of the saddest episodes in this whole show. That was crazy. So messed up, especially for Kunikida of all characters to have, to have to experience that. Jeez, man. <laughs> oh, and that uh, Rampo. Feels responsible himself, it's true, damn. Oh, it's Raccoon Guy again. <laughs> that Rampo again? Nah, he can't be running around in a bear suit. That's crazy. Wow. He got told to be a mascot as punishment. What? That's wild. Why? No, his raccoon don't respect him. <laughs> oh, it was the guy on the roof, innit? The one we saw right at the beginning of the episode that randomly had a shovel. Specs a minute. I was literally just about to say <laughs> Rampo. <laughs> wow, I knew he was gonna say that. He's already there. Say something funny. <laughs> Rampo's about to solve this right now, man. Why would you do that to yourself? <laughs> oh, oh, yo. <laughs> he rolled up himself. <laughs> nah, yo, hey, Rampo. <laughs> nah, this guy is literally ruining his whole side mission. That's nuts. Smart. <laughs> Me. Oh. <laughs> T 
to like talk with about just problems and stuff. What? 20 mil. What? Wow. Wow. Is Japan just a nice place like that? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Whoa. Wait. <laughs> I know that's supposed to be serious, but... Wow, that's wild. Jeez. That was the guy. Clearly, it clearly isn't him then, is it? Or maybe the picture was never the right picture in the first place. <laughs> oh, Rampo is so funny, man. <laughs> uh, the, hey, the police are basically here just to do clean up. <laughs> they, 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 they ain't solving nothing or investigating anything. Wow, what? That's, oh, that's, <laughs> wow, okay. Wow. <laughs> He's right there. <laughs> That's crazy how all of, all of that was a legitimate sale though. Oh, okay, never mind. Wow, he looks crazy right there. The Demon of the North. Who's that? Can't lie. <laughs> this is the perfect serial killer right here. Whoa. Oh wow. Oh wow. That is that is a that's sick how it manifests though. <laughs> that's like I like that this actually looks pretty cool. Rampo's not gonna be able to deduce it. Cause he's not he has nothing to look at basically. Or observe. And it could be more than just a crime as well. He, he can basically re re remove evidence from anything he wants. Because then that would mean his power is based on like actual law, which is weird. If the law has changed and death is legal, it wouldn't be a crime anymore. I'm just, I'm just like taking it to a completely different place, obviously. But I'm just saying it actually can be used for more than just a racing crime. It should be able. Oh, it's a flashback. <laughs> Yo, he pulled out the hair comb like it was some epic stuff. <laughs> oh, 
Grudge, he's, he's obviously risked losing this. Literally, yeah. Without that, who is Rampo kind of thing. Wow! <laughs> Time to give up. Yeah, I was right. That's an old picture. Imagine how much bodies this guy must have. Jeez. He's like Kira, but in Bungalow Stradles. Jeez, why? Is he saying this all out loud like some... Wow! No way. <laughs> no way. Did he hear that? Oh, no. This is crazy. Literally, yeah. <laughs> It's a comedy right now. Man, he's getting excited. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> no, no, this episode is hilarious. Don't tell me Rampo solves this just by sheer like luck and coincidence now. Rampo is so funny, man. Wow, Atsushi's first appearance is in some random comical bubble. He's in the car, I swear. No way! Hey, I swear, I'll ha nah, we have to, we have to fight. What are you doing in my car? <laughs> so crazy! I would not be talking. That's probably the worst thing you could be do do right now. Just sit there in silence. Oh my days. No way. Don't tell me it's, it's from the guy's original house and stuff. Wow. Wow. He is finished. Man, you gotta love Rampo. Seriously. He, everything he does, when, whenever he's on screen, he's either entertaining or funny. And wow, we've got, an, we've had another murder mystery solved pretty much. That, that whole, the whole second half of this episode was just hilarious. Like, <laughs> to think... The one time, the very, 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 very rare case where someone actually has an ability 
that makes Rampo's technique almost obsolete happens to bump into Rampo <laughs> and be forced to indirectly help him with his case. That is crazy. Like I said, if that was me, mm -mm, he ain't getting in my car. But him using the envelope and the manuscript, what? when he said that, when, before Rampo even revealed it, and he said the truth is in those two, I was like, please don't tell me this guy used that from the murder scene. What? That would be the dumbest thing ever. You're called the evidence eraser and destroyer, but you kept two massive pieces of evidence of a previous crime. Wow, okay. Like the, the direction it's going is very... We're four episodes in and we still haven't seen anyone but Rampo and Fukuzawa. That's very interesting. This Fushitaro guy, he's clearly getting caught, but it's gonna the way it's going to happen is going to be so funny, obviously. Wow. He has, like, the worst luck ever. Ever. He had all the cards in his favor and is still gonna get caught. That is insane. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, I greatly appreciate it. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Did you enjoy the episode? And where you think things will go with this, or what your theories are and how the crime or how he's gonna stumble up. Hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. And with that being said, people, I'm gone.